close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Okay, so this room is a complete disaster. I honestly don't even know how it gets this bad. Um, but I feel like it happens during the weekends when I am just careless. There is stuff everywhere. Everywhere. And I just need to tackle this. Also, it is super dusty in here. This room gets the dustiest out of everywhere. Um, and we just gotta take care of that, you know? P is our little helper. So let's just tackle this room, right? Yay! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you could tell, is all about cleaning up and organizing this bedroom, which is super filthy and is super messy. So I'm starting by changing the sheets on the bed and you're just gonna see Penelope playing around at the bottom. She likes to throw herself in the blankets and she's also gonna be hanging out until she goes down for a nap. Hey, are you having fun? <laughs> let's go get the sheets if you're new to my channel my name is Juliana and my daughter is Penelope she's about to be two years old I am a stay-at-home mom to her and I do YouTube as my job now which I'm very lucky to have I love it and I just love sharing my life I do everything from cleaning videos to fashion videos to vlogs so I would really love for you guys to join our family and subscribe and let me know that if you subscribe because I would love to welcome you and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this type of videos this is just a little cleaning motivation because I really think that after the weekend everybody needs some cleaning motivation at least we do we don't do a lot of cleaning during the weekend because we like to enjoy it as a family and go out and do stuff so once Monday comes around it's all about picking up the mess and organizing everything again So once I'm finally done with the bed, I'm going to go ahead and move on to picking up the mess that is laying around this room. So I'm starting by my daughter's toys, which somehow always end up in our room. So many of them everywhere. So I'm just trying to gather them all and put them where they belong. And then I will come back to empty out this chair, which is the catch me all in this room and everything else that is laying on the floor and just everywhere. <laughs> I actually had quite a few purses that I had left on the chair to go through and empty out before putting away so that's what I'm doing now I'm just going through all of these bags that I've been using and rotating and just getting all of the trash that I have in them and all of the things that are in them just emptying them out that's what I'm using the plastic bag for just so I could get rid of whatever garbage I find in them and then once that's done I will put away everything that I found in them and I will also take care of all the clothes and the purses and just get everything cleared up. Now that I have everything out of my purse, purses, um, they're all empty. This is all the stuff that I took out that I need to put away. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and put these bags away. And I also bring in a plastic bag because I know I'm gonna get out a bunch of trash. So. That's what's happening right now. I really do try to keep that chair empty and it will last for a few weeks. And then I just start piling things up and saying, oh, tomorrow I'm gonna put this away. And then it just never happens. Like, I know a lot of you have told me to just get rid of the chair, but I like the way it looks there. Nobody ever sits on it, but I like the way it looks. Does anybody have something like this at their house? 
something that catches everything and you don't really use it what it's for but you still can't get rid of it I just feel like I just can't not get rid of it so once the mess around the room is all picked up and everything is off the floor and the chair is pretty much cleared up I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my dresser which as you could tell also has tons of random stuff included my jewelry bag that I traveled with a few weeks ago is still sitting here so I'm just taking care of all of this putting everything in its place and then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean Now that I had everything cleared up, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning. So I'm gonna start by taking everything off the dresser and then I am going to first wipe it down with a dry Swiffer pad for the floor just because it is so dusty. I just wanna pick up a lot of the dust. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my end dust spray and a microfiber towel and just wipe everything down. Once that's done, the last thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning this mirror and for that I'm using the Grove Collab glass cleaner. You guys know I love this product so just using that and a paper towel to wipe it down and then we'll just put everything back in its place and move on. Also taking care of this small side table before moving on to the TV stand which I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just wiping it down with the Swiffer dust bed and then I'm going to go ahead and just wipe the entire thing with the end dust product. And as usual, if you guys know me, you know that if I'm doing day cleaning, I'm usually watching Friends. It's one of my favorite shows and really is the only thing that could distract me while I clean the dust on these shelves. I hate doing it because there's so many books and I have to take everything down before wiping it down. But once I'm done there, I moved on to my night table and again, I am using just the Entos product at the top and the glass cleaner for the glass part. Turn us to thousands And we'll grow in number Fueled by thunder See the horizon Turn us to thousands we'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways I really wanted to show you guys how long my hair was on in this picture and how light it was because i think i look super different tone always thinks i look so different um, than i do now and i just wanted to share that with you guys but i'm just wiping down his night table and once we're done we're gonna go ahead and vacuum now of course my favorite part is vacuuming you guys know i love seeing these lines on the rug it just makes me super happy and I also wanted to take a minute to mention that my vacuum is always linked in the description box it is a shark vacuum I've only owned shark vacuums since I live by myself and I absolutely love them they last so long 
they work so good and they are much cheaper than a Dyson um, so I really enjoy my vacuum because um, I get tons of questions about this vacuum so just know that it is linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out So once I finish vacuuming, I am pretty much done cleaning. This is not a deep cleaning, it is just a maintenance cleaning. I just do the dust, I clean up all the mess, I organize the mess, and then I vacuum. And that just helps me keep up with the bedroom throughout the week. And then the last thing I'm doing since Penelope is still sleeping is I'm gonna go ahead and fold some wash. I love folding wash in the bedroom because it actually saves you an extra step you could just fold the clothes and put it away right away instead of putting it in the basket and then moving it to wherever it needs to go so i'm gonna go ahead and fold this up and put it away and that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you the motivation to tackle whatever room you need to handle i love how my room feels after and how it looks and it's much easier to tackle the week when my room looks nice and clean and organized so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet bye